This is from Isa, very beloved Japanese haiku writer. Dear, dear, what a fat, happy face it has, this peony, Isa. Dear, dear, what a fat, happy face it has, this peony. This is also Isa. The evening cool, knowing the bell is tolling our life away. The evening cool, knowing the bell is tolling our life away. I hope you're hearing it. If you're not, raise your hand and we'll do something about it. <laughs> this is Shiki. She, when I went in, you know, I want to say that haiku is written now all the time, all over the country, all over the world. And probably any week you can look up, there's a haiku conference going on. But um, I went and studied the original people, including I found a great woman haiku writer. But Shiki, when I went into their histories, which I tell in the book, Shiki was amazing. He died in 1902. And it's really because of him that we have haiku now. It's almost like he threw it into the 20th century. And he died in his early 30s. He had TB and he coughed up his first blood when he was 13 years old. And, um, but he had such determination that he was one of the great haiku writers in Japan. So I love this one because it really, I think for the pandemic, it tells you how to behave, what to do when you feel completely crazy during this time. Stifling heat, tangled in confusion. I listen to thunder. Stifling heat, tangled in confusion. I listen to thunder. So he just stop and listen to what's right now. I think it's the only thing that will save us during this really hard time. I'll read you a few more from Shiki. Cherries blooming, people I remember all far away. Cherries blooming, People I remember all far away. And don't forget, it's particularly touching when you know his biography. He couldn't get married. He didn't have children. He really, you know, was isolated in a lot of ways. This one, I, I think I've read last time too when I gave a reading. I love it so much. And it's really about Shiki, even though he's talking about a camellia. Winter camellia, using all its strength, blooming red. You can feel how he is talking about himself in this last haiku, his huge effort to live and assert his vision through the camellia that pushes to bloom even in cold, inclement weather. <laughs> 